Welcome to another episode of KID Tip Tuesday produced by KID Close TV. On today's episode, we will continue to discuss Baby Safety Month pertaining to autism. Let's talk about it. If you are new here, welcome. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're aware of our next episode and you continue to be part of our community. Now, on today's episode, we will continue talking about Baby Safety Month. September is Baby Safety Month. It's a month where we look at how we can make our environment better for the babies, especially when they start to crawl, they start to walk. We need to make a safe environment for them because babies and children and toddlers often get into a lot of trouble. But what happens when your child suffers from autism? For parents with children on the spectrum, it's often a little bit different. You have to be proactive. Not one size fits all. And it's always going to be a challenge and you're going to have to make adjustments as the child grows. KID Close wants to provide you with three ways on how to baby proof your home, especially if your child is autistic. The fourth one is a bonus. Bonus from KID Tip Tuesday. Water. Once a child hits one years old, is the second leading cause of death is drowning. So parents have to be more watchful if the child is on the spectrum. Over 90% of children on the spectrum, spectrum, if they're not found alive, drown. And even if they do fall into water, there might be some long-term effects, brain damage or long-term disability. Parents have to understand that children can drown in two inches of water. So if this could happen to a child that doesn't have any disabilities, problems, cognitive issues, developmental, imagine how much more a child with autism. Here are some things that you can do to protect your child if they're on the autism spectrum. Number one, learn CPR. The American Red Cross offers, less, offers classes on CPR from infant care to regular child CPR. I will leave the link below so that you can contact them so that you can get your lesson. Make sure you put a fence around pools. Put a fence around your backyard so that they don't wander. And make sure that they're always supervised around water. When we mean water, we mean if they're near a pool, bath, shower, any sink, they need to be supervised at all times. Number two, wandering or elopement. This means that the child either walks off runs off, or if you're, occupy, if you're occupied doing something for 10 seconds, you turn around and they're not there anymore. According to the American Association of Pediatrics, 50% of autism children will either elope or go missing. So how do you keep your child from wandering off? Number one, here's one thing that you can do. You can speak to your local authorities or police. Let them know your situation. Let them know the diagnosis that your child has. And maybe they can help you and help you with how to deal and how to keep them from wandering off. You can also talk to your neighbors. Neighbors also need to know how to approach your child. Approaching your, the way they approach your child can be the difference between them coming home safe or bolting. You should look into sophisticated locks. Just because a child is autistic does not mean that they're not smart. Many of them are very, very clever and very aware and can handle a simple lock and open it. So you should try to get something a little more sophisticated. Try to place the lock higher than the toddler or the child so that they have a difficulty reaching for it. And sometimes in the end, you might need a double locked, a, a double key deadbolt with a key. Also, do not forget about the windows. 
the windows of your house should be locked. Should be locked in a way that they have a difficulty difficulty opening them. Many injuries have happened. Many children have gone to the ER because they've opened up the window and they fell out and harmed themselves. So it's not just even about them escaping, but if they do, if they are able to open the window and go out the window, they might even harm themselves depending on high, how high the level of which window they got off in your, in your home. Number three, trusting strangers. Many children on the spectrum have a hard time sensing danger and they might run into someone who they can't determine what the intentions of this person is. And many disappearances have happened because of this. Parents need to teach their children, especially their autism children, not to trust the strangers, who to identify as safe, and also learn safety measures to keep them safe and protected. Number four is a bonus from KID Closed TV. It's a social story. A social story is a story told in a book to deal with a problem or situation in society. To help the child with autism to relate to others. They, social stories have become very popular in the autism community. They range from making friends to washing your hands in these times. This is a great way to bond with your child. You read to your child and you explain to them over and over. Because remember, autistic children, they thrive on repetition over and over, explaining to them what is expected of them and how to relate to others in a social situation. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode of KID to Tuesday produced by KID Closed TV. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're aware of our next episode. And remember, sponsor of this video is KID Closed. KID Clothes is an online children's clothing store where we empower parents with baby care information so they can deliver the best care for the child. And we do it through clothes. We are not open and the link is below so you can come and shop for newborn and infant clothes. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.